you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got our weekend league lineup update. Plus, I'm going to go over potential new options at each position. So, the team I'm rocking with for today might not be the same team I'm rocking with come the end of weekend league. So, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going into it with. And I'm going to show you guys a little little tips and a little oversight over what I what's going on in my head and how I want to rework this team as a whole. So, I'm going to go position by position in the binder, obviously. And I'm going to show you guys how I plan to rework this team and how I plan to go about with this team and what i see for the future and how i want to work it because obviously this isn't my final team and not even close a lot of players aren't going to be here much longer i'm kind of just working with it day by day trying to be efficient with my coins not lose so many coins using trading and stuff obviously there's a few guys that will be here year the whole year but not all of them i can say the same thing about so that's pretty much it for the intro guys now if you guys haven't already go down below smack the sub button to make sure to be here for every new video i post turn on the noti bell also we are over 7k subs so let's keep grinding out to eight and hopefully keep going on forward towards 10K. And if you guys could, make sure to go down below and like the video. Let's get this video to 150 likes for this weekend league lineup update. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. I also dropped three other videos today, so make sure to go check those out if you haven't already. But of course, after this video, the end screen should have them there, so you'll probably see them. And also guys, comment down below what you think I should pick up for this team and how I should be improving some players on this team. Okay, so coming to that quarterback, we got Patrick Mahomes, obviously. I've had him for like, since like the first week of Madden drop. I don't plan to change him just yet. I've told you guys what I'm doing. I'm waiting for Michael Vick, and that's it. I will rock with Pat Mahomes. I have no problem playing with him. He gets the job done. He's very accurate, and I run the ball mostly anyways. So I'm going to rock with Mahomes until Vick comes out, and that's about it. I don't plan to switch to... I mean, as much as I love Steve Young, it doesn't make sense to buy Steve Young, power him up, do all this work, get spent all these coins, and then Vick just come out, and then I'm broke. So definitely waiting for that. Now, at running back, we got Mark Sound and Philip Lindsay and Saquon Barkley. So my plan at running back right now is to run Mark Sound until he pretty much just passes out. And then I have Lindsey and Bar Barkley, but Lindsey's just temporary because he isn't that. If Barkley gets a new upgrade, I would love to have a Barkley at running back for the year, but I can't really predict what kind of Barkley card he'll get. But pretty much the end game result for me at running back would be a Barry Sanders. So if they come out with a Barry Sanders or Danny Thomas in the near future, that will be my running back. But until then, I'm going to rock with Mark Sound. Bo Jackson's too expensive, and I don't even anticipate me taking him as my free Nat Mutt 10 hero card or whatever it's called. Now, coming in at fullback, we've got Corey Schlesinger. He is the fullback for the foreseeable future, maybe two months at least. I got him for free out of my house rule, so make sure you guys are always playing those because you got awesome cards like this. But I did get him for free, and he's an awesome fullback, so I have no no plans to change him in the near future at all because he's a fullback. I'm happy I got him that. Now, I got Holt, Hopkins, and Hill. This is the receiving core that will not stick for that long. So, Torrey Holt will stick year-round, obviously. DeAndre Hopkins will probably end up being a third or fourth receiver pretty soon, as will Tyreek Hill. Unless Tyreek Hill gets an upgrade in the near future, Hill and Hopkins do not play too great for me. Holt plays pretty good, but Hopkins is way too slow. Not really a fan of him too much in this game at this point. I would prefer to have an Odell, a Julio, an Antonio Brown, anything like that. But I'm waiting for new cards to come out. A Randy Moss, Calvin. Nothing really entices me to really get rid of him just yet. But Tyreek Hill, still, he can still get the job done with the speed, but I would like a new card of him. Now, tight end's another position that Kittle will be here all year, at least as a one or two. I do anticipate getting maybe a Kelsey or a Tony Gonzalez or one of those type tight ends there at some point but for now Kittle will definitely be in the lineup all year whether or not he is the starter or the backup but I use two tight end sets anyway so it doesn't really matter left tackle I want to get Anthony Munoz but for the time being we do have Joe Staley but Joe Staley is okay gonna definitely be looking to upgrade to Munoz soon at left guard we got Bruce Matthews he's gonna be a left guard here for quite some time probably don't probably won't change him for the majority of the year unless a lot of left guards start preceding him and he's not really that good anymore then I'll make a switch but for now I might just end up powering him up and rocking with him now, center is a position that's going to change pretty quickly. So, as you guys can see, I have an, I pulled an auctionable Frederick. I, then I pulled a Nat Frederick, and I pulled a Jason Kelsey. So, I have three centers here. I pretty much plan to tr uh, sell two out of these. And now that I have a Frederick Nat, I probably am just going to power him up and hope that they drop a new Frederick and the, like a heavyweight Frederick. So, he'll probably be my center for quite some time now. But obviously, Kelsey's better at the moment, in my opinion, because he could run block a lot better. So, I'll be rocking with him until. I can finally upgrade Frederick and make him a lot better. Now, right guard, we got Larry Allen. He's going to be my right guard for the majority of the year, you might imagine, because he's obviously going to get a lot better cards. But I don't want to say he's going to be here every game because obviously, as the year progresses, he might not be good for a short amount of time until he gets a new card. At right tackle, we got Lane Johnson. I would love for him to be here most of the year, but I imagine he won't be because being an 87 overall and probably not getting an upgrade for another month or so, he's probably going to be a little behind. So I will have to upgrade him at some point. I left him and got D-Law. D-Law will not be here year-round. He's just here because he's a Nat card and he's a superstar card. But I anticipate that I left and I'd probably rather like 
maybe another stray hand if they get another one. But for the time being, there's no other left end that like in this game competes with him besides Reggie White. And I'm not shelling out the money for White when DeMarcus Lawrence and that. So that's about it for left end. I don't really know. I have to wait for more cards to come out. At right end, Donald's going to be here all year. He has clarity at right end. Donald's going to be here the entire year. I have no problem with Donald there. Um, he's an awesome card. You guys have heard enough about him already. Defensive tackle is a position I, I wish to improve. I have powered up Fletcher. Well, I have a power at Fletcher Cox waiting until he gets a better card. I want to kind of power him up and rock with him at DT or even a mean Joe Green or whatever. But I'm waiting for a future card because right now defensive tackle, the crop is kind of light. I don't really feel like shelling out money for a few decent defensive tackles. Now, at outside linebacker, we got Von Miller and Khalil Mack. So Von Miller, will, oh, Frederick just sold. Von Miller will be there for probably another month or two. And then I'm holding Khalil Mack because the second, and I mean the second, he gets that new card. He's going to be the best outside linebacker in the game. So I plan to have Mack on my team all year. So pretty much I'm just going to wait until he gets his new card. And that should be a, a wrap. Him and outside linebacker and Donald already. That's going to lock up one side right there. And then Von Miller on the probably quick selling at that point. Now, linebacker is pretty much locked up for the year. Shea Z will be my middle linebacker for the vast majority of the year, or should I say the whole year. There's no, I'm never going to switch him. And my backup linebacker is going to be Wagner for now, but I anticipate changing that. And it could be Wagner all year if he gets a better card and I can upgrade him. But he's kind of slow, kind of short for me. I'd rather him be a little taller or at least better jumping or something. He can't really get user picks because he feels very chunky and slow. And he can't really jump too well, so hopefully he gets a better card. If not, I'm going to have to switch up my backup user linebacker. Maybe even some Devin Bush action if he gets a new card. He'd be a pretty nice backup linebacker. Now, right outside linebacker is locked up for the year. We got Lawrence Taylor fully powered up. Unstoppable force, three abilities. He's going to be there the whole year. I'm not switching him. So him, Mac, and Donald locked up for the whole year. I'm very happy about that. This is probably the best defensive card in the game. I have no problems there. Now, coming in at cornerback is a position that I pretty much have my guys locked in besides Byron Jones. So Jalen Ramsey will probably be a guy that's there all year. I have him powered up already, and I have him nat, so he's going to be there all year. Gilmore's also nat, so he'll be here all year, and I could potentially quick sell him if eventually he just really falls out of the lineup, but I might actually just end up powering him up and rocking with him all year. Now, for my third corner, I do want a Deion Sanders. So, and by third, I mean he'll be my first, but right now I want to get rid of the third. So I do anticipate selling Byron Jones, but I'm just literally waiting for a Deion Sanders card. I don't want to sell shell out money for Willie Brown or any of those guys. I want Deion Sanders. That's all I'm waiting for. So when that does indeed happen, that is the card that I will be going for. Now, free safety is a position that will not stay the same in the near future by any means. Earl Thomas is not that great. He play, he has his moments, right? He has his moments because he has such a good zone and good play rec, but he can't hit. When I go to hit stick, he gets stiff armed. He gets trucked. He can never, he can never stop people's movement. Like, you know those linebackers that like, I want to describe this in a perfect way. So you know when you're going for like a first down with a running back and like you need to stop them on like fourth down and they, they, they meet you at the line, like at the first down line. And if you hit stick them, they're not going to hit it. But if they truck you over, you're going to hit it. Earl Thomas is that kind of guy. Like if I come in with Lawrence Taylor, I know I can stop him right at the line and match him, right? And make a stand. Earl Thomas is going to fall. They're always going to fall forward in Earl Thomas, which really sucks because he always lets a lot of people to get three or four extra yards when, they, when he tackles them, which is really irritating. And he's really tiny too, which really hurts with deep routes that I literally can't. I can't shadow under or pick them off. It's really annoying. So as far as free safety, I'll be waiting for probably like either a better Earl Thomas, but I don't even think even that. I think I want a strong tail. That's pretty much all I'm waiting for at that. And now strong safety is a guy is one that I'm confused about. So for the time being, I got Ken Houston, Jamal Adams. If Jamal Adams gets a better card, I'll probably put him in over Ken Houston because he might actually end up being better if he gets an upgrade. But in the meantime, Ken Houston is an absolute beast. I have no plans to switch him. And the only way I'm going to switch him is once I have Pat Tillman master, uh, master powered all the way up. Because once he's powered all the way up, he's going to be the best strong safety in the game. Maybe even the best safety in the game at 95 overall. So just waiting to get my Pat Tillman. And then when that happens, I will have that all locked up. Now let's go over to the lineup so I can give you guys a complete overview of what we're working with. For this week in Weekend League, I kind of anticipate to place at least MVP again. 18 wins is kind of like my floor, in my opinion, where I want to always hit. And if not, we can always get top 100, which would be even better. Although the rewards were disgusting. And we do have monthly rewards coming pretty soon, I believe. Because what, what week is it? It's the last, I think it's the last two days of August. So... We should be getting them the first week of September. So I expect those pretty soon. And I think I should be placing an MVP for the weekend league uh, for the month. So I will be getting some pretty cool rewards. Now, as you guys can see, this is the lineup. You guys can clearly see that the line is pretty good. I just wanna, I just wanna work on my outside tackles and my center, but they are solid. I prefer to work on my center if anything. Tight end's been just fine. At wide receiver, I do wanna work on it a little bit. I feel like that's the only thing I'm missing and a mobile quarterback. Once I got all that, my offense is going to be unstoppable. I cannot, I'm so excited to have a mobile quarterback once that finally comes. I need a free, and all I need on defense, on the defense, truthfully, is a free safety, uh, a slot corner. I'm a, yeah, free safety or nickel corner, if you want to call them slot corner. Free safety, nickel corner, and a defensive tackle. Once that's all said and done, 
my team is literally one of the best teams in the game or at least for me because i don't really care about my team on paper being the best because i know how to play with the players i pick i know for a fact that what's lacking on my defense is a free safety and byron jones once i get that figured out and a stud defensive tackle from the middle my defense is gonna be my defense is stout like i'm not gonna lie like i play some really good defensive games but this will just take them over the top now guys it is that is it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy it. and comment down below anything you think i should improve or something i didn't mention so if there's a player that you think would be better suited for a position that i have comment it down below to let me know i greatly appreciate the feedback if you guys haven't already go down below smack the sub button or grind to ak we're not that close but with how short the time is probably like seven more days it seems pretty close to me also just hit the notify bell to get notified every time i post a brand new video this will be video number four for the day so stay tuned for that hopefully you guys have time to watch every single one of them and once you're done with this one go uh, click on to the next one and if you haven't already comment down below and let's like the video get this video to 200 actually 150 likes well i know you guys can smash it but i'll just leave it at 150 because i know it is a lot of update video and that's about it guys thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next video peace